Blinking heck. That is so mega. Some shocking. So <laughs> mega. Some shocking playing in there. Oh, anyway, 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 anyway. Man, hey guys, welcome to that pedal show. Dan here. Mick here, hello. Hopefully Simon will have cut some of that out. No, no, no for the edit. Um, it's amazing. It's nice sound, How it? amazing is that? That was the new. We've uh, Dan and I recently acquired a TS-10 because um, this video is about Daniel. <clears throat> tube Screamers. We, we've done a uh, Tube Screamer video before. This is the sort of part two follow up to that. Yeah, so Bonsai. This is about the bonsai as, as much as anything. Well, yes, we did the Tooth Schema show before. We were in um, at NAM, and Josh showed us this and we were like, wow. So we thought, okay, let's bunch them all together. Here's what we're gonna do. A whole hour or more of Tube Screamers is gonna kill us all. So um, the, <laughs> the eight, nine, and the 10 are on the board for Pure quick reference. Yes. We may come back to them in, in the future. And we just ch chucked a couple of extra things on there for interest. Hudson Sidecar, which everyone says is a great um, extension of that uh, germanium diode clipping overdrive circuit. Oh, uh, okay. That the, that the Tube Screamer is. Um, Warhorn mm -hmm. from Walrus Audio. We like everything that Walrus Audio do, so let's see if we like the Warhorn. Uh, and the Ryra... Um, 808. 808, which wears its heart on its sleeve. As I was saying, pick this TS10 up, everyone's saying how great TS10 was. I've never actually owned one. Really? Yeah, and funnily enough, I really like it. It's fantastic. I got it from the guys at Barrel Guitars in Kidderminster. Thank you for that. Um, it had a missing knob, no box, and no instructions. And as a result, it was a bargain basement price. So what you're saying is there's only two knobs. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get into it. Um, amps today are... No. This is the uh, Audio Kitchen Big Chopper. So lots of people know about the little chopper. This is the big 30 watt version. Um, very special amplifier indeed. <laughs> going to re remember where the knobs are set but it will also do this And that's just one little bit of it. Maybe we'll do some more on this amp another day, but it is a astonishing amplifier. Oh, Dan's in love. And uh, as cowering in the corner is the Fender Super Reverb, which oh, sounds how, like how this. How many cowers?
Um, sorry for all the, for the knob twiddling there. I was turning the vibrato on in the super and turning the reverb up to patent pending. I feel so much better now. Yeah, we had a, we we um, did a show this morning where we were struggling a little bit more to find our groove, and um, I think we found it. Yeah, that that uh, yeah. Quick thing about the big chopper. So four EL eighty fours, but. It's all uh, single-ended for EL84s in parallel, or single-ended in parallel. Madness. Um, it's it's just the most wonderful sounding amplifier, so very lucky to have it on the show for a bit. Um, yeah, see how we go. It really is a spectacular yeah, thing. Beautiful. It's an evolution of the, kind of, I guess, not really the AC30 circuit, but because it's EL84s and it's that, you can, it does that. And, anyway. and that's my happy place. Yeah, yeah, it does sound spectacular. Yeah. Um, I turned the gain down because we're in Tube Screamer land and it is it is overdriving a little bit more than the Super. And maybe we'll turn the amps on and off at various points so you can just hear the individual amps. But, but for the, both of them on together, it's we're just the most that. heavenly, heavenly thing. Right, JHS Bonsai. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different Tube Screamers in it. Break it. So let's get straight into it. Let's start, Daniel, with the TS-808. Right. This is my TS-808, modded by um, Mr. Robert Keeley. Okay. I bought this for my, I want to say 30th birthday. Wow. Maybe. Might have been a bit after that. Okay. So that's <coughs> years ago. Um, and it sounds like this, Daniel. Oh, I'm playing. Yeah, oh, yeah, you are. And I'm playing my uh, John Mayer signature Stratocaster today. I also, like that guitar. Also have the PRS Silver Sky. This guitar sounds more Stratty than my Strat, right. so that's why I'm playing it. Just okay. But well, I might get my Strat out as well. Anyway, enough. <laughs> enough. Just play the guitar. <laughs> That's a sound. Does he play that? Is it just the clean sound of the two rock, or does he actually have uh, a, a pedal on with that? Uh, Dan's talking about Slow Dancing in a Burning Room by John Mayer. I think it was a Dumble. Right. I don't know. Okay. Could be, I mean, it sounds like a fender -y type amp to me, and it sounds like that thing that he likes in the in-between position where you've got, sorry, slight John Mayer tangent, where you've probably got something more akin to the TS-10. Yes. And the in-between. Okay. So it's... Probably isn't quite as distorted as that. A bit more level, maybe. Magic. Let's go back to the TS-808, sorry. Okay. It sounds so great. But instantly, that's the question you get asked all the time, what's the difference between the TS-10 and the 808? For me, it's that, it's the mid-range character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was much more kind of honky mids um, in the 808. So. Oh, the knob's in the middle, Dan. 808, there we go. There's a dive there, middle there, tone there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
close, yeah. isn't it? Very, very good. Give it some telly, telly wanging. Okay. Keep, keep the non Stevie Ray Vaughan fans happy. <laughs> <laughs> with the telly. But it's it's so close. Mid-range is in a slightly different place. Just, just a, just a different... Feels tear. like the, the uh, JHS has got hair more bottom end mm, to me right. from where I'm sat. It's very good. But, you, you know, you can tweak. Right, TS9, uh, my least favourite tube screamer. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Um, you're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's me saying that the nine's my least favourite. Actually sounds pretty good into the super. Mm. I always remember them being thinner and less kind of just a bit stringier than the 808. Okay. And like with a like a going on. Here between the uh, AO and TS9, two seconds. Right. Simon's having palpitations because he's got all this masking to do. Bless him. When when the sw pedals get switched on and off. But I've levelled it up. I know, I know, but he's going, oh no, don't keep switching between them, don't keep switching between them. <laughs> Let's see if he goes up like that. I think there might be, a, there might be an, interesting, <laughs> an interesting message there. Simon just made the universal, <laughs> the universal sign of approval there. Um, right, TS10. TS10. Instantly, the difference between, sorry, just a very interesting difference between the TS10 and the, and the, the 808 and the 9 to me, the, there's the definite, very, like very similar. The, the 9 maybe have a little bit more mid-range, a bit more compressed, but the TS10 seems to have... It's a different thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It, I... Thank you. 
all over, the bonsai seems to have a bit more bottom end. Yep, and, and a bit more gain. A bit more gain, slightly. Mm. Yep. Slightly, slightly. I mean, we could turn the gain up on here and see what that does, because obviously the relative positions of the pots may not be the same. <laughs> Slightly nasalier, okay. Which I think, if you were to max the level out here, turn the gain down a little bit, and do the old position two and four. Very good. It's as close as that's so impressive as matters. There is something about that TS10 that I really like. Yeah. And what I was going to say earlier, which I didn't say, is that it's it's a half a step closer to a clon for me. Oh, okay. Because it it there's less of that mid range bump mm -hmm. and a bit more apparent high end. Yes. So it doesn't sound like a clon. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's, it's a, a step half closer. a step. Yeah, yeah towards one so if you were to well that is that's that's the volume on 10 <laughs> Happen to you. <laughs> it's a very badly played version of the solo in Gravity. Yeah, okay. Good. Good. So what do we say about the bonsai so far? Oh, mm -hmm. Super Overdrive. We haven't... Right, Super Overdrive. Is it... Is there a Super Overdrive? There is. OD, or is it an OD1? No, that's an SD1. Ah, SD1. Wrong oh, pedal. Sorry, we've... Wrong pedal. We've dropped the ball. Let's see if it sounds like the SD1. All right. <laughs> Whatever that is, I like it. Really cutting. I know why I liked them so much when I was a kid. The you one? Yeah. Not all the SD one. Not so at all. Okay. We'll just and for the purposes of the video, yes, it's the wrong pedal. We know. <laughs> Thank you. Let's move along. Um, and then there's a couple of other ones in here. So interestingly, that Keeley sign there mm -hmm. is the I think is the Keeley modded. I haven't got the card with me, but it's one of the Keeley mods. Okay. So I don't know if it's an 808 or or whether it's his baked mod or whatever it is, but let's have a listen to it and see. Okay.
So I'm playing dog poo at the moment. Oh, stop it. Um, there's more ga- more headroom in the uh, bonsai by the sounds of things. Because yeah. have you got the volume right up there on the on my 808? I do. It's yeah. So there's whatever the Keeley mod is in the bonsai. It's got quite a lot of headroom. Mm. I wow, like it. Wow, that's so cool. Well, I tell you what, Dan. I was going to put that on my board, on the new board. That's going on there. Yeah. Because it just does it. It does the whole job. And I actually, there's sightings in there that I prefer. That's so cool. It's really cool. It's funny. I really liked the Big Muff pedal. Their version of the Big Muff. Muff letter. The Muff letter. Which is... It's up there. I'm going to get it for the benefit of the group. Okay. You can keep talking. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was really cool. I'm not going to get it. Stuck there on. were, there were stuck um, on. I don't. Because I, I, if I pull it, the whole wall's going to come back. Exactly. On the subject of the wall, by the way, uh, it has shrunk. So for everyone going, can you please repaint your back wall? It's a simple trade-off. Paint the back wall. Less videos. Good point. Or we're going to just have to find a hole in the in the schedule to paint the back wall. So I like the muff letter. Yeah. I thought that was really good. Um, there were, I think, with the muffs, perhaps because there's the between individual muffs, the the character is quite yeah. different, and I think that it's more uniform between the models of the tube screamers, yeah. perhaps. But to me, that's like so bang on. It's great. It's really, really good. Um, whereas, like with the with the muff letter, um, you know, we had that triangle big muff. Yeah, and it had a certain something about yeah, it. Yeah, it yeah, didn't yeah. quite get with a muff letter, but this is just nailing it. It's well, I don't, I don't suppose that anybody needs us at this point to say that it's really good because the whole world has said it's good already. So yeah. anyway, okay, well let's try a couple of other things then. Really, yeah, let's do. Let's move along. Really interested to hear the. Um, actually, I want to hear the Ada weight in the JHS versus the Rara. Okay, so this is Rocky Repair Amp. These guys make our favourite clone. They do. Well, as of about two years ago, there's probably another 26,000 million on the market at the moment. <laughs> Straight clone kind of copy type circuit. Uh, right, okay. what have you got them? Well, this is the Bonsai out of way. Okay. I wonder if I could just play something different. It's unlikely. <laughs> Let's go to C. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My favourite Mike Landau bend. <laughs> Yep. Yep, very good. You get one note? Yep. No, just play that for a bit. More aggression in the uh, math letter so far, in, <laughs> in the JHS so far. spectacular actually. Is it supposed to do anything else? 
No, it's just the straight eight oh eight. Okay, so it doesn't. It's not like and and we've added this. No, I just think it's it's for, from from what I know, um, like the way they did the 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 clon version. They found a really really great sounding clon, and sort of spent ages getting it to that. Okay, so I'm assuming this is exactly the same thing's happened. It's found a really good eight oh eight. Yeah, that is really light and produce that. It sounds, really, sounds great. It was really very nice great. to play. Uh, I'm going to finish up on the Strat, I think. Let's, um, let's, because one thing you, you may be yelling at the screen at this point is please play some humbuckers or P90s or something just so we can hear something different. Okay. Let me just hear the uh, the war horn and the sidecar. Let's see if it does the, the kind of okay. classic tube, tube yep. screamery Stevie Ray thing. Yep. And then we'll, then we'll get more interesting and I, uh, or at least move away from the whole Stevie Ray thing just okay. for a minute. Warhorn. That should be you. Yep. Stronger, yeah. And you've got the bass and treble controls, right? Mm -hmm. What does the switch do? Uh, levels of compression. So, uh, so is... different kind of clipping, is it? Yeah. Maybe. So... Could you go on to the less clippy? Less clippy. That is ice! Definitely that Stratia two and four with the less clippy. Yeah, is is a really nice alternative because one of the things that people get annoyed about with tube screamers is the compression. Right. So that takes that away. I really like that. Galloping my eyes to the uh, interface there because the the level of the, 
Um, yeah, interesting. The transient attack in that is so quick. Is massive. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's almost. We we did the Origin Revival drive this morning, and Dan and I. It's dead. A sort of breaking small amp is mm. not a sound that either you or I really grew up with or mm. like very much, actually. Um, love the sound of it here on record here. Neil Young play it. It sounds absolutely mega, but give me Neil Young's Les Paul, please. If you give me Neil Young's Les Paul, plug me into that, I'd be like, I'd know, I'd be nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it doesn't matter whether you do that or whether you do that, the yeah. sound is the same. Yep. Yeah. And I can't, I've struggled with that. This is the polar opposite of that. Polar opposite. Headroom, big amps, and everything coming out with fairly decent clarity. That is banging. That is so banging. We've said it before about Walrus, and we'll say it again. They blooming know what they're doing, oh, don't they? Mate. I haven't played anything of theirs yet that has not been spectacular. Yeah. Wow, so good. Okay, all right. So, sidecar then. Sidecar. Uh, I'm so, given how much we all love the broadcast, the Hudson's broadcast is one of those pedals that Dan, Simon, and I love equally, mm -hmm. which is super unusual because mm. there aren't many flying here. There aren't many. Uh, he likes me. He likes my hair pomade. Uh, that um, that we all agree on. Is it? Mm. There's things that we like, and there are different areas we we live in. But the broadcast is definitely something that we all yep. love yep. unreservedly. Yeah, it's wonderful. So not setting the sidecar up for too much of a hard job then. Okay.
That is magic. What a great sounding pedal. <laughs> Sorry, wow. Michael, that's not coming back. You better send us an invoice for that. <laughs> um, Man alive. Hey? And two more. And two more. Yeah. That's incredible. Wow. So that takes, I mean, you can see where it starts in that, but it, it's very quickly not tube screamer. No. And actually, <sighs> yeah. Okay, um, let's hear the warhorn with um, some different pickups. Okay. just straight into lovely loud amps, nice overdrive pedals, it all sounds good. <laughs> That's what's happened here. We're not listening to Tube Screamers at all anymore. We're going, no. we're going oh, it's loud and it sounds mega. <laughs> uh, let's pull. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow. Uh, so going back to the tube screamers, the first thing that you notice is that extra bit of compression they have. Um, I don't know if what the Warhorn is doing is actually getting rid of the clipping diodes. If that switch, because it gets rid of all of that. Yeah, it sounds like it's certainly doing something along those lines, yeah. doesn't it? Um, but oh, this guitar so bad. I thought that was. I thought we weren't going to have that for too much longer. I it's supposed it's, to go back. It's still here. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's blooming flies. I apologise for the fly. We're not disgusting. There just is a fly. <laughs> <in here. laughs> um, yeah, he sent me a number. And it's a, it's a it's a number that is <laughs> favourable, but painful. Okay. It's like a I know there's it's numbers. a divorce inducing number. Oh god. <laughs> it's magic though. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so look, the, you, nobody needs another blooming video on tube screamers. There's enough tube screamers out there, but I do feel that they are, you know, we pigeonhole them right in the beginning there to the mm. Stevie Ray thing and I love that I, I, I used to do that's the only thing I used to do and I haven't played that stuff for ages so I'm super rusty on it but that sound gets my gets my juices going and it, and it is if you want to play that sound you do need a, a Fender amp and, a, mm. and a, some kind of tube screamer and a strap it's, it's essential however they're not just that and I think I hope we proved that a little mm. bit towards the end of the video where we use some different pickups and got some really cool, just great rock sounds. That sidecar is a revelation. Everyone said it would be. Everyone said, you need the sidecar, it sounds great. So if you're in that world where, you know, Tube Scream is not for you and none of these other variations really are, mm. then, and you want a bit more aggression, I mean, it, it just has the, the most magic uh, variance of level and gain and anything in between. And then I think if you take a step back from that and you just want a bold sounding great mid voiced overdrive that is quite different from something like the uh, Tumnus. Mm. I'm thinking of the Tumnus because it's the same colour. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, it's the immediacy of the Warhorn. It's that the transients are so massive. In that less clipped mode. Yeah. I, yeah, that's, yeah. I, I absolutely love that. And for all you guys who'd like to run your tube screamers into a heavy gained amp, I think that would be a benefit in that in yeah. that environment. And if you don't know what tube screamer to get, get the bonsai because they're they're all in there and they sound magic. It is really, really, really good. Yeah. I mean, are, are we surprised, JHS? I mean, no, of course not. They don't make they don't make rubbish. And we've got oh. the new Panther Cub version two on there, by the way. Just that's what was giving the delay. But maybe we'll look at that in more detail in another show. Mm. And the Ryra, you know, that is a difficult market. Yeah. Traditional, great sounding tube screamer clone. Who doesn't make one? Yeah. But saying that, it sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. This fly is really annoying. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, once again, I've I've been blown away. The you know some absolute corkers there. To be fair, having a couple of amps at decent level sounding beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Here's a part of it. God, Sorry. You can... I don't know if you caught that. Fly just landed, landed on mixed Oh, notes. yeah. It'll be in 4K. Yeah, yeah. We are not scum, I promise. Um, okay. Well, um, yeah. Let's... Most of these are available at our preferred retailers. Yep. Who in the UK and Europe is? Anderson's Music of Guildford, Surrey. Uh, in the US of A. Uh, Riff City Guitar of New Hope, Minnesota, among and, other locations. Uh, Australia, Brisbane, Queensland. Uh, would be Pedal Empire down there in Pedal Empire. <laughs> uh, fantastic. And also, uh, please don't forget to visit the thatpedalshowstore.com if you are in the need for garments or fridge magnets. I don't, or, like, I don't like killing creatures, but that fly is going to get it. That fly is going to get it. You, yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got that glint in your eye. That fly is going. Uh, glint in your eye, that's the wrong expression for a fly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that would be a struggle. And thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Thank you yes. very much for everything yeah. you guys do. Thank you it makes so a much. massive difference. Yeah, it really does. Okay, to play out, um, we haven't heard the bonsai with 
other types of pickups and not playing bad Stevie Ray Vaughan licks. So let's do that. All right, you go, Sam. Okay, this is a Collings uh, I30LC, by the way, which in a different world would be mine. <laughs> That's it, that ends. That's the end. <laughs>